This video has been demonetized upon uploading. Please consider a modest donation to help support this channel. Our pay links can be found in our bio. Yes, guys, go support. It's complicated, and please like this video as well since it will be demonetized since I'm reacting to it. I got into this industry when I was 18, about to turn 19, um, and I just have always loved sex and being a sexual person, so, yeah. I got oh, into God, okay, okay, okay. Industry when we, start, I we started off strong. We started off strong with this one. 18 years old, I'm really horny. I was 18 whenever I first got into sex work, and I originally started out as a stripper. I've been making nude content. So you see, a lot of these women that are essentially in corn, they do start off as strippers, bro. And I'm not going to lie, a lot of them kind of come from Florida. And a lot of them start stripping at 16. If I'm not mistaken, they're allowed to start stripping at 16 years old. So, you know, it's a kind of a slippery slope into the sex industry. Since I was 18, I submitted to Playboy when I was 18. I didn't get in, but that didn't stop me. I ended up doing Suicide Girls, and then that transitioned into OnlyFans. Well, when I was 18 and a half, I started making non-new dumb content online, putting up my own videos, flipping off the camera, telling losers to pay me money. And Look at it. Telling losers to pay me money, bro. That's how they see men. They see them as losers. They just want to take you for everything you're worth. That's the modern day hustle of the woman right there. That's what they pride themselves with. This is what empowerment looks like. You're a loser. Give me your money, loser. Uh, yeah, of course I will. Like, a, like an ATM machine. It was really, really fun. Then I met a man who brought out the submissive side in me. I convinced him to ditch his job and move to Vegas and do porn with me. And that's what we do now. I <laughs> oh, God, bro. We're losing the battle against masculinity. That's it, bro. We're losing it to girls like this. I was 18 when I got into this industry, and I... This is why you need to protect your masculinity. You must protect it with an iron mind. Protect yourself. I was inspired to participate because I was stripping, and I figured I wanted to jump into something a little bit more. So stripping and OnlyFans, while they're like still in the same community, they're both in sex work, Stripping has the benefit of having instant cash. You can get the money that night and, you know, like you get to have real personal interactions and talk to people face to face. Interacting with people face to face. Some people prefer being behind a camera. I, it's just your own personal preference. What was your body count before you entered this profession? Oh, God, guys. Oh, this is the question. This is the question. What do you think she's going to say? What do you think her body count was? What do you think? What was her body count before the profession? Oh, God. Um... Honestly, she said she started when she was 18. I'm going to say less than 10. I'm, I'm just going to say it. I'm going to have hope. Less than 10. Let's go. Let's go. Less than 10. Less than 10. Less than 10. Bro, 16 is a literal child. That's crazy. Yeah, bro. That's, that's, a, that's the truth, bro. That's the truth. And so, some women, I think even Lana Rhodes openly spoke about how she was uh, um, stripping when she was 16. She got like stripper heels or whatever. And she just lied about her age. She just got in. Before I enter You're saying 16, 20 bodies, 16 bodies. Let's see how many bodies she's got. This profession, my body count was in the 50s. I don't... Wait, 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 wait. Before the profession? Before I entered this profession, my body count was in the 50s. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, new research, guys. New research has been conducted right now. All right, boom. If she's been, if she's in the industry, more than likely, she has a high body count. Emotional damage. She got a high body count. She's gonna be in the industry. She got a high body count. I don't know exactly. My body count was 11. Is that, is that, um, isn't she like famous or something? That's. Bumbaka. Oh God. 11? 11. And the industry has done this to you. Damn. See, this is what money does, bro. This is what money does. This is what money does to you. You go from 11. To I don't care. I'll do fifty. I'll do a hundred. Don't matter. as long as the money keeps rolling in. Ch -ch 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 -ching. I don't care. I'll keep. I'll. I'll keep racking up that body count. Don't matter. It's profession. I hit a hundred before I did porn. So when I was. Oh wow. All right. Yo, this range is getting crazy, bro. Went from eleven to fifty to a hundred. What the hell? Aiden Ross, get your girl. Oh my god. I had some friends when I hit 50. They threw me a halfway hoe party at the strip club. A halfway hoe party. This is the empowerment, guys. And I was like, well, what's next? 
My body count is so high that I don't know. Wait, don't use that. What? Wait. Wait. <laughs> you, what the? Oh what are we doing here, guys? Oh my body count. Has any of your family seen your films? And if so, what do they think? They have seen my films. They've seen lots of photos as well. Damn, wait, if they're in their 20s and they have over a 100 body count and they start with like, like how much can they have now? Damn, bro. How do you even make time for all that? I mean, I guess it's your profession. It's your profession. Like, every single day, just a new dude. Um, they are not too happy with me, but they're coming around and supporting me now. So My sister apparently has watched all my videos and she has very choice words to say. Not very good ones. Oh, God. Part of my family disowned me, but we're currently working on rebuilding the relationship. Has your career... Bumbo card! How? I mean... Damn, bro. If that was my daughter, man... If that was your daughter, what would you do, guys? Let's be honest. What would you do? Like, you, you, we, we, we really gotta think critically now, bro. Alright, if that's your daughter, you gotta have empathy. empathy. Oh, God, bro. Oh God, imagine Tristan Tate's daughter, Andrew Tate's daughter, his daughter goes down this line. I mean, I mean, you can't, you can't really disown your kid, man. You can't disown it, but you don't have to agree with what they're doing, but you can't really disown them, I guess. Rear Mike Malak's favorite woman. <laughs> oh for affected your romantic relationships. Definitely. I mean, it's hard for people to conceptualize the idea of dating somebody who has sex with other people. But she don't care. She don't care because the money's too easy and it's coming in. So she don't got to think about it. She'll have 11 body counts and it'll be fine. But as long as the money's coming in, I don't care about the consequences. I'll worry about that later when I'm 30. Buy a dog and die alone. Do you think people can learn to be good lovers from watching porn? I think people could definitely improve as lovers in general. And I do think that porn could give you a lot of food for thought. But it's like... You're not going to become a great basketball player by watching basketball. You're going to become a great basketball player by playing basketball and practicing and studying, right? Okay, that's actually a W take. I'm not going to lie. That's actually a really W take. So I, I think porn could give you some good food for thought, but it's definitely not going to like teach you everything there is to know. And also, there's a lot of stuff we do on camera in porn that is not really applicable to real life sex. There's a lot of like positions that you might be doing just because it looks good for the camera that in reality, it's just not... It's not really what any girl is trying to do in real life. So it's true. So basically, you know, it, it could help you if you're looking at it kind of like, okay, what are some ideas? Like you said, food for thought, but it's not something you should get wrapped up and addicted to because at the end of the day, it will not help you. It, you will not benefit from it if you're just spanking the, spanking the meat all day. It's not happening. Would you ever date a guy who bought OnlyFans content every week from the same creator? or would? Yo, why does she look like Zelda? All these girls kind of look like Zelda, bro, from like Link consider that cheating i would first ask him i'm like dude do you want to fuck this girl because just tell me you know what i mean like and then if it like continued despite the fact that i'm like offering all this you know i would i would probably dump him let me tell you something guys what you jerk off to is like the last person you killed you keep that fucking secret you got no reason to go spilling the beans to your girl you're giving her ammunition that she does not need she's gonna find shit to fight with you over no matter what Oh, this is him being in the polygamous relationship. I guess this is how complicated it is, right? It is, I mean, if, it's fitting because you're on the It's Complicated channel, so your polygamous relationship is definitely It's Complicated. Or who you're jerking off to or whatever, you know. Clear, clear your cache, clear your history, open up an anonymous browser tab, memorize your password. Just my advice. Do sex workers prefer to date other sex workers? Not all, but I think that most do, yeah. Some do. Because they can't get anybody else. I will not and won't. Why not? It's weird. Do you have any Damn, how old is she, bro? Reason or I mean Um, I just like I feel like it's too based off of content sex. She got fake eye contacts, right? The money. I like my relationships to be real. Is there a wage gap in the adult industry? Uh yeah. A wage gap in the adult industry? Yeah, women are benefiting for, and men are getting paid nothing? I think men are like significantly underpaid and I think they work some men really hard. I think there's a- So the wage gap only exists in the in the porn industry. Um, but honestly, it's probably for the, it's probably good. It's probably good that that happens, bro. Because guys shouldn't really be putting themselves in that situation, I'm gonna be honest. I, it, I know it may look fun when you're like 11 years old, but it's probably- It may be killing your masculinity, bro. I'm gonna be honest. Like, it, it may be killing your masculinity. Maybe.
only because of the women you're kind of dealing with often. And that's really the only kind of women you're kind of exposed to at the end of the day. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, I could be capping. I could be capping. I, I don't really know. More women than men doing porn. Porn needs more men. I hope there's more male talent that gets involved in industry. But you have like 100 bodies, don't you? You rarely hear complaints about female porn stars making more money than male stars. Um, that's a really good question. I don't know. To me, all that's doing is like flattening income amongst people, right? Like in income inequality is a bad thing. I think that this is one of the only industries where a woman will most times make more money than a man. And while I totally think that every man should be paid what they deserve, I also am so happy that women are finally put in a position where they- Of course you're happy because you benefit from it and he doesn't. So of course you're going to be happy. They can earn more than the man. Even though I think the men should earn more, I'm really happy that women- Okay, you think men should earn more, but you're happy that you earn more. So, so what you're saying doesn't make sense. What you say doesn't equate to what you do. Of an industry where they dominate, because there's not a lot of industries where women dominate. So. Just say you don't care that men get paid less. Just say that. Just be honest. Just keep it 100. If we have more people making $1,000 a month off of porn, and maybe a little bit of that money isn't going to the girls who are making a million dollars a month, off porn, it's probably a net good for the community, right? I think a booger just fell out of my nose while I was saying that, but whatever. Is there an age gap in the adult industry? Yes, men are a lot older than the women. I mean, I think you can be successful at any age. I know lots of MILFs, lots of grandmas doing porn. I want to do porn forever. I'm only 22, but I'm ready to be here for as long as you guys will take me. Oh my God, bro. God damn. She sold her soul to the devil, bro. That's it. She belongs to the street. She's, I mean, she's admitting it, bro. She's just being a hundred, keeping it a hundred. You gotta, you gotta give a little respect for that. But she sold her soul to the devil. That's sad. I mean, the average lifespan of a porn star is four years. Lifespan of- The average lifespan is only four years? So it's not even a real career at that point, bro. That's just all the emotional damage. Emotional damage. You gotta face after that. The consequences. Damn, bro. Of a porn star is about six months. At what age do most porn stars leave the profession? I don't know. I've seen some pretty seasoned looking women around here. <laughs> seasoned so. looking women. I was oh, 48 God. when I started chatter baiting, and I was 50 when I did my first mainstream porn scene. What was your body count before you entered this profession? Four. If you weren't doing Oh porn, my God, the grandma, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. The guilt. She had four bodies and she's like, nah, nah, I'm too alpha female and for alpha this. Female. I'm gonna go to OnlyFans. What profession would you be doing? I'd be a botanist. An astronaut. I would be working at Target. So I Oh god. Those are all like children answers. I had to go into the medical industry. So I got laid off during COVID. I used to be a college professor. Hi, if you're my former students. That's Hunter wait. Wait, what? A co okay, co a college professor. She used to be a co- This is what they're making college professors nowadays? Oh my god. Goddamn. I used to be a college professor. Hi. Imagine a guy sat here and said it just like that. Imagine a guy said, Oh, I'm a college professor to all my college girl students. Hi. Come watch my porn. Subscribe. <laughs> If you're any of my former students, conservational biologist, and I would help save tigers from extinction. My dream job is no job. I would probably my be. My dream job is no job, bro. Come on, bro. This is Feb this is the female empowerment movement right here, guys. This is the female empowerment movement. And, uh, marketing and graphic design and basically everything I'm doing right now, just not being in porn. Is there a difference between a great male versus female porn star? And that's a, that's a tough question because I don't really look at other people as a competition. Um, I um, To be a, a great performer, I think you do need to be a great person, um, respecting people's boundaries. But you also, it's interesting because you need to appeal to an audience as well to succeed. I'm curious as to what kind of boundaries a man would put on you, bro. Men don't have boundaries when it comes to porn, bro. They just got to do what they got to do. They are, they already getting paid less than a K. So, you know, at that point, if you sit here and you're like, oh, I have a boundary. Yeah, get all set. We got another guy coming. The difference is, is that female porn stars are basically almost a dime a dozen, and the male porn stars have to actually perform. I think a great male porn star focuses on the females, 
um, and a great female porn star focuses on the fans um, and also interacting with the camera and like knowing their angles. Um. Damn, bro. Honestly, she's tricky, man, because at first glance, I would think she's wifey. But as soon as she hit with the 50 people before she did corn, bro, 50 bodies, you would just, I would just never imagine, bro. I would just never imagine. That's crazy. Uh, yeah. Does porn appeal to women? And if so, is it marketed differently? It does appeal to women and it, it has to be marketed differently. It has to be more of a sensual thing and not just the straight up sex. I think most porn is marketed to men. That's just true. I market my porn primarily to men. Why are men more likely to consume porn while women are more likely to consume romance novels? So essentially it's feminizing men. It's, make, it's making men weaker. They know that. They take advantage of it. That's fine. You know, men sit here and pay for it. Do what you're going to do. But we don't have to fall for this kind of trap. I'm just saying. We can see. It. They're exposing the reality right here. You're watching it right now live. This is the trap. Don't fall for it. Because women are more mentally stimulated. I think some women like more of the kinky stuff. And then there's also porn that's more called ethical porn that is made that is a little more soft and sensual and more about the story and the connection, which can lead you to have like more of an emotional experience than just a physical arousal. To market porn. Okay, that's, that actually sounded pretty nice. Specifically. She's, she sold that. Women implies that there's something about being a woman that we all have in common and that women don't get stimulated really so much off watching corn they get a lot more stimulated off reading books like 50 shades of gray you know they're a lot more like imaginary they live in their own head so you got to be able to really tell the story and really kind of play it out for them if she's a guy that she if it's a guy that she trusts then she'll be open and she'll probably get turned off to watching turned on to watching corn if she really trusts the guy by virtue of of that I'm supposed to enjoy a certain kind of sex and a certain kind of porn, and I think that's horseshit. I think, well, all women are very different, I think, and I think men are a little bit more, you know, standard. <laughs> I don't really have a favorite porn site, but my favorite porn category is the mill. Of course it is, because it benefits you. Of course it does. Rise of OnlyFans affected the adult industry, and if so, how? I personally think that it has affected it for the better because more people, more women especially, get to be in charge of their own content. Um, I think before when there were just porn houses and people were under contracts and things like that, there were large cuts being taken and now you get to be a little bit more in control of your own image, putting your own content out there. It has Yes, and you get to take these losers' money. That's what y'all get to do. And negatively, because everybody believes they're a porn star now. They don't have any... Woke idea. and a porn star, LMAO. <laughs> the, girl, the girl with the floral tat was on FNF. What kind of work was it she? takes to actually make a scene. The rise of OnlyFans has empowered the creators and taken power... Nah, someone get their grandma and tell her to bake some cookies. I'm done, bro. What? <laughs> oh, God. From the mainstream corporate institutions in porn... Which, you know, for better or for worse, because I think a lot of the mainstream companies, Vixen, browsers, whatever, they serve a purpose, you know? But the fire is definitely a little bit more under their ass to, you know, provide value for these girls. Because at the end of the day, the girls don't need them in the same way that they absolutely needed them five, ten years ago, you know? Does the influx of amateur sex workers cheapen the work of professional sex workers? Define professional sex workers. <laughs> like women that actually have sex with guys and not women that just do it online and just take guys' money. <laughs> what was your most embarrassing moment caught on camera? Oh my god, I don't know. Only fans I... is essentially just like glorified stripping, no? Say that on in your YouTube channel. I don't want your video to get flagged. Oh, most embarrassing moment caught on film. My most embarrassing moment caught on camera back in the days when you were allowed to stick objects inside of you. My most embarrassing moment caught on film. This one's a fucking good one. I'm telling you right now, like, I have never told this story in an interview. And I'm kind of nervous, too, because it's vile. If you don't like scat, get out of this. Like, don't watch this. Wait, what's scat? What, what was your most embarrassing moment caught on camera? Uncensored interviews coming to Rumble. Okay. Okay. I guess you got to save the, the good stuff for Rumble. No! Stop it! I don't want to see do, do women really have it hard <laughs> No, that's okay. What did we learn there, boys? What did we learn there? All right. Oh, God. All right. Essentially, women do what? Women get into this age 
very young, 18, as soon as they can. They probably stripping beforehand. They're probably very promiscuous, got a lot of bodies. You know, they see the easy, fast money coming in. They don't have to worry about the consequences till they're a lot older. If they're not a lot old, if they're if they are a lot older, like that woman we just saw, like the gilf, right? <laughs> or or you know, grandma. And she got a low body count and she don't like guys, or she's not really like she she just wants to make her own money quickly. Even she can make her own money quickly, bro. Which I which I'm very surprised by because I thought that the the more they'd age, like even they said that like, oh, the the corn industry is essentially like you got a four year lifespan. You got four years of doing corn, and then you got to just face all the consequences that comes with it. So you know, and and it's a lot, it's a lot of delusion, bro. It's just a lot of self perpetuating delusion. They benefit the most from it. They're getting a lot from it. it. It's making it a lot easier and accessible for other guys to sit here and simp over them. And that's why I say that it's a trap. I don't subscribe to those things. I don't because I know it's a trap. I'm going to be honest, all right? It's taking away your testosterone. Don't do it, okay? Watching Corn in a while, maybe that's not Maybe that's not too bad. Maybe you just got to clear your head, all right? Fine, whatever. But to be obsessed with it, to be addicted to it, that's something you really got to... Be weary of, and you gotta take you gotta take control back. You gotta be a lot more self disciplined because these women they see you as losers. That's how they see you as, not as viewers, not as oh somebody that's actually that I'm gonna actually gonna benefit their life. They see you as straight up losers, and they will take every cent you have. So be weary, bro. Be weary.